Welcome back to How to Grow as a Christian, where we come closer to Jesus Christ with our spiritual leader, Reverend Jimmy Ray. Praise you, Lord. So good to be back again. Daniel, it's been a while since we've had an episode and since we've discussed our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I think we should open up with a word of prayer, and I'm not sure if you're quite ready to lead in prayer since you're still kind of a baby Christian. So let the man of God right here start in prayer. So join hands, and you viewers out there, join us in prayer. Father God, in the name of Jesus, help us today that we may understand thy word as I teach Daniel and my viewers out there how to grow in the stature of Christ Jesus. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. You say amen, I say amen. It don't matter. It don't matter. Well, Daniel, how's your walk with Jesus Christ doing? Are you doing okay? Uh, yes, Reverend. Uh, I have been reading the Bible every day and praying and uh, trying to, to learn and, and stay humble. Good. That sounds good. So what is, what is our topic for today? Well, i tell you what. I got finished preaching this message at my church last Sunday morning. Because I have a few people in my church that were visiting. And they were making claims to me that they felt like they wanted to test God. Now, Daniel, you're a new Christian, but have you seen God's hand working in your life? Have you seen his provisions in your life, or are there some things you just haven't seen work out the way you wanted it to yet? Well, well, sometimes my prayers work out eventually, and and sometimes they don't. Yes. Now, I hope you don't test God, because my message today, and I want to show you some scriptures, Daniel, if it's okay. Of course, Reverend. Okay. Is we can't test God. Now, you come from that old background of yours before you got born again and saved. You was one of them atheists. And I think you used to use, uh, what's that word that you were, guy, uh, the physics? Physics. 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 Physics, yes. Yeah, and right. science. You used to use that. And now you can't use it. You can't test it. You cannot put things to the test. Now, how do we know that? It's right here in the Bible. So we can't use science on, on God. No. no, you can't use science. No. You can't use science of God. God's ways are like way up there in the sky. Now, science said they can figure things out here in the natural world. They think they're so smart. Now, God is far above science because his thoughts are above our thoughts. You can't act like a scientist anymore, Daniel. You're now a Christian. Yes, well... Back when I was an atheist, we used to uh, attempt to test things empirically, so maybe that's why the universe used to appear like a, like a, like a mechanistic machine. What? what excuse me. Uh, 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 mecha? What now? A machine. Mecha. What's that word you use? A mechanistic machine. Is that a new word, Daniel? That that just means that it's a like a machine. It, machine, like a machine, yes. like oh, like a machine. Okay, I got you. So I never heard that word before. You're a really smart guy, Daniel. Thank you oh, for the new words. Yeah, you know. Now, I want to show you in the Bible the old way of life you had as an atheist. Don't compare the new life you have in Christ Jesus. We can't test God like you used to in science. You know why we know that? How do we know that? It's in the Bible. The Bible tells me so. Here it is. I'm going to read it for you in Deuteronomy chapter 6 in the Old Testament. Right here, the Lord said to the Israelites, You shall not follow other gods, any of the gods of the peoples who surround you, for the Lord your God in the midst of you is, what's that say? Jealous. He's jealous. He's a jealous God. He don't want you looking at any other gods. Like if you have a girlfriend, you want her looking at some other guy? No, well, and what would happen if he, if she looked at another guy, went, he's cute. What would you do? Well, I would be jealous. That's right. Just that's how God gets. If you look at other gods, okay. Well, maybe before it was like science was my god. Well, no more is it. No more science. It's Jesus. 
Thank and thank Jesus for that. Thank, thank goodness Jesus. the Holy Spirit has come into my oh, heart. That makes me happy. <laughs> okay. Otherwise, the anger of the Lord God will be kindled against you, and he shall wipe you off the what? The face of the earth. That's serious stuff. Yeah. You shall not put your Lord God to the to the test. Say it loud. You shall not put your put the Lord your God to the test. As you tested him before. Now, what does that mean, Daniel? Well, it, it means we, we can't use empiricism and science on God. That's right. You can't test him. That's because faith is your new life. And if I were to say that because God didn't also uh, didn't answer all of my prayers, that means it, it doesn't doesn't prove that he exists. I can't say that. Well, okay, yeah, yeah. Because that, that would be putting him to the test. You can't do it. No more. It's a new life. You have a new life in Christ. All things are passed away. Behold, all things become new, it says in Second Corinthians 5.17 in the Bible. So if, if God doesn't give me what I want, I just need to to believe that uh, that he is yes. he is really leading me in yes. toward the best position. He's the father, you're the son. Who knows better, Daniel? A daddy or a little child? Uh, the father, Reverend? He's our daddy. We're children. The Bible calls us God's children. Well, I think that the, the Bible says that, that children are, are foolishness, are, are foolish. Didn't you... Uh, Teach me the, the, I did. the earlier episode. And remember how you draw foolishness out of a child? That's that's right. You uh, well maybe we could uh, you could maybe you could review because I don't remember the exact words. Okay. Proverbs twenty two and chapter twenty four says, Take the rod of instruction. You remember that fun day we had when I had that little old sea turtle, whatever it was, that lizard? Yeah. And I pretend like it was Daniel Junior. And I spanked him with the rod of instruction. That's how you drive foolishness from a child. And and that is what God is doing to us, according to what we read uh, today. That's right. We can't test him. Now, he's going to test us all the time to make sure we love him. Do you love him, Daniel? Of course, Reverend. <laughs> I know you do. All right, one more thing. We're going to go on. Now, Jesus said it pretty clearly about testing God. You know what happened to Jesus? Jesus was tempted of the devil. The devil's our adversary. Remember the devil? Yeah. He's out like a roaring lion. Rah! Seeking who be made devour. He's going to try to get you. But Jesus will protect you and his angels. So you know what happened in the Bible story in Luke chapter 4? Interesting story. Jesus was led up into the pinnacle of the temple on top of the building, and Satan said, Hey, Jesus, testing God, using that old empiricism stuff that you physics, phys, phys, physics, 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 physicists, physicists used to do, testing empiricism. So the devil goes, Hey, Jesus, if you're God, throw yourself down from that temple. And you watch the angel of the Lord catch you, like it says in the book of Psalms. The devil knew the Bible. And you know what Jesus told him? Do not test the Lord your God. He quoted Deuteronomy chapter 6. You know why Jesus knew the Bible? Because he's God. He and the Father and the Holy Ghost are all one. He wrote the Bible. Wow. Isn't that mind-blowing? This is this is incredible. This is deeper right? than that fire physics you used to do as an atheist. Much much deeper, much much more profound and rewarding. It's so deep. Now, Daniel, I'm going to cut it short today because I've got another episode coming up. I want the message to you and your viewers to be: Don't test God. If you have doubts, trust and obey. Wait patiently for the Lord, and He'll answer you. But don't test Him. You know why? Remember what he'll do. The anger of the Lord shall be kindled against us. Right. You have to uh, 
you have to to trust that he's he's leading you where yes. to to the right the right place. Yes, you got it down. Just trust and obey the Lord God. So Daniel, if you do have doubts and you want to go back to that empiricism you used to do as a scientist and atheist, you can't do with God. All you got to do is push those thoughts aside and just wait on the Lord. He'll work it out for you. Any well, questions or comments? Uh, no, Reverend, but just remember where you uh, heard this first on how to grow as a Christian, and I hope you'll continue to join us.